times have come to Bowie State, especially on an afternoon after they finally exercise one of the demons of the past. I'm Mark Gray from Bowie State University, where the Bulldogs knock off Virginia Union by the count of 23 to 19 to take full control of the North Division in the CIAA race. And it was a game that was marked by a freshman quarterback, number three on the depth chart, making his first start. And really, the offense had to deal with the growing pains. However, thanks to Kendall Jefferson and his rushing, the Bulldogs offense played with a toughness and they were resilient enough to pull out another win despite all the injuries that have set them back throughout the course of the season. I have a special group. I told them day one in camp that we're a very special group and we believe in next man up. So I don't, I mean, whatever happens, we're just going to continue to play hard and continue to play for one another and uh, it's going to give us a shot to win the championship. Whenever you got a game um, that you know, we had four interceptions on them. Uh, we had a couple controversial play, two touchdowns called back. Um, we had a, a sack that looked like it was um, it should have been a fumble, and went to the house. It was called back. It was ruled um, not. It was ruled down. So whenever you got that, you you can't punch it in the end zone. The amount of times that we went into the red zone. Um, the, the data speaks for itself. Defensively, this was a tall order as they faced another of the top running backs in the conference, but they were able to shut him down once again with a variety of plays, and they were able to bail the offense out after a couple of critical miscues, which could have stemmed the tide early in the second half. Here at Bowie State, we have a tradition of great defense. If you give us the lead in the fourth quarter, put us on the field, it's our job to win the game. You know, and today we were actually put in some very in some bad situations, but we understood that we had a freshman quarterback starting in Naima Washington, and we knew that it was our job to lift him up. Down the stretch, however, it looked like Virginia Union would grab the lead, but this touchdown was called back due to a holding penalty, and as you might expect, there are those on the Union sideline that saw it a different way. I, I'm never one to depend upon the calls of referees to win or lose a game, but I'm just going to let that, you know, those people look at the game and they'll see it. So now Bowie State has their fate in their own hands. It's back to the CIAA title game if they can win their next couple of contests against Lincoln and Elizabeth City State. Meanwhile, Union, who was within a game of playing for the conference title last year, needs some help. But we all know in the CIAA come stretch time, the only certainties are uncertainties. Once again, from Prince George's County, Maryland at Bowie State University, I'm Mark Gray for HSRN. And remember, follow all the action of HBCUs around the country at HSRN.com and download the mobile app.